I wish we could have videoed the pre-podcast conversation today. Welcome to the Thought Shower. John is my name. Hello, that's uh, Shelby over there. Because Why don't I ever get to say my name myself? You can. Okay, I was just wondering. I was just wondering. Here's your chance. Hi, I'm Shelby. There it is. Okay. So uh, I was getting swallowed at the gym, cool. and I was on my way back, and I was like, hey, like I'm heading back. We can you know, start recording soon. I sent a photo of the sky because it looks yeah. dark, and you love weather. And um, so then um, I got back. I had heard from you, so I called you, and you're like, hey, it doesn't even look dark. I'm like, mm, okay. And then we have a little back and forth, and then you go, why not have a great <sighs> – never mind, I'll talk to you in the podcast. Yeah. And I heard you laughing, so I just hung up. <laughs> because I thought it was funny that you like yeah. just you thought that you'd gotten off easy, and then yeah, I was like, "Have a great day." <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, uh-huh. um, my day today started. Let me tell you, how my day started. Oh, well, how? so like uh, after the show, I'm getting changed in the bathroom to get ready to go to the gym. Get a FaceTime. It says Big D. Big D is my friend. Uh, I guess our friend Wayne D. Yeah. Who does afternoons in Nashville. And I'm like, this is odd. Because anytime somebody FaceTimes you, <clears throat> like out of the blue, like if it's not somebody who's like a regular FaceTime, it's because they're probably with somebody and they want to show you something. It's not. I never, just I like, never think like that. I think they just like want to catch up or something. Oh, I, maybe it's different. I don't know why I think like that. I think that, like I would just assume if it was you, if it was like I mean, if it was Eric, if it was Molly, if it was anybody like in the circle, I wouldn't assume anything. But I don't talk. D and I talk like, over text. Like if Buster FaceTime me, I'd be like, oh, he's got to be with somebody. I'd be like, so, something happened. Yeah, that too. So I answer it, and he's in a, he's in a, a school gym. Okay. And he shows me, and he turns the phone to the right. I'm like, that lady looks like my mom. And I'm, it was the oddest Aww, thing. Oh, that's so fun. Because I guess his kid must go to the same school as my nieces, and I guess my my second cousins. Niece, I call them nieces, doesn't matter. My little cousins. Yeah. So I guess my mom was there for like an assembly, just to like support. But it was one of those things where it's like, you know when you see somebody – in like a place they don't belong almost or a place yeah. that like they don't expect. It was the oddest thing to see. I'm like that. My mom's on the TV. That's my mom right there. Yeah. That's a member of the old vine. I'm driving mom's car. Yeah. Yep. Me car. No, I don't, I never. Don't. Oh my God. No. Wait, this is, this is like original. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. It's like this British kid. I'm driving. I remember Charlie bit me. Oh, after yes. the dentist. oh, okay, hold on. Wait. Uh now there is like TikToks that has like old like um it's like, a, like it's like vine was better type stuff. Yeah. Some of these are bangers. Let me see if I can get this to okay, so that's connected. So it's this little British girl. Hold on. How, is she like an adult? I'm in my mom's car. Broom broom. Get out of my car. Aww. <laughs> What? What did I just watch? What I was were simpler back in Vine, man. Good times, man. Good times. Hey, uh, anyway, I know you're really excited. Birthday week, all this stuff. So last week yeah. on the Friday podcast, we had that we recorded that earlier in the week, and we talked about who we think would be in our click. I had mentioned Jack Harlow would be him and I would vibe. Yeah. Um, and like must have been like the next day that like after we recorded it, Jack Harlow is in your studios. Yeah. Um, he came. Yeah. Was it the next day or had I just not told you? Well, it had to been like, I, I didn't see the photos until like the next day on the stations page. So maybe oh, the next yeah. Two days. Yeah. Um, he stopped by. He's just, you know, promoting his album and stuff. Um, How was he? Free. He was great. I mean, I think I feel like we made some like nice eye contact. I like my outfit. No, he might have just been looking at my pants that I only wore because I hadn't done laundry in so long that I had no leggings that I like. I have a lot of leggings, but I had no leggings that I like that make me look yeah. like snatch, if you know what I mean. So I was like, and make I don't know if like you, what snatch. So gotcha. like, you know how like I'll take these mirror selfies and it looks like I'm wearing the same leggings every day. I'm yes. actually not. I know. Crazy. I have like eight pairs of those leggings. <gasps> crazy. Um. Yeah, I have a lot of leggings, not just black leggings. I just don't. Anyway, my whole point is I never wore the cow pants. So the one day I wear the, the cow pants, man, Jack Harlow's in the studio. <laughs> That's kind of my, he's like the hottest thing in music and you're like, yeah. I have cow pants. My hair is dirty. Nobody told me that he was coming in. It caused a lot of issues because I was like not happy. I was actually like very upset. Like I was, I, why did I know? And you know what? And then I'm hanging out with my friend on Saturday. My friend Maggie's like, I even knew Jack Harlow was coming in. I was like, great, great. I'm so glad that everybody but me knew. So that was cool. Did you mention Louisville at all? We didn't talk that much. Oh, because you know, we, he, he didn't work with Barman. We didn't work with Barman. 
I know. So here's the thing. I didn't get no. to interview him because I don't do afternoon drive when he was in. So my coworker did. Also, it was our first day in the new building. So the air conditioning, no one knew how to work it. Nice. But you know me. I'm pretty good at figuring stuff out. I know that's hard to believe. You're like, you're making a face right now. But I had already fixed the computer that day in the studio by myself. And then um, everyone's like coming out like they're bringing him water like it's like 85 degrees in there like in the studio like legitimately and everyone's like freaking out and and even like people are like oh my god ethan looks really upset because it's so hot and like jack's getting hot jack needs water like it was like disgusting hot so i finally just walk in there i you know i don't care i just walked in there and i looked at it it was on demo mode which meant it was off and i hit on air you know kind of like our job on air yeah no i got it yeah. and i was like and then um, he said something about it like afterwards. And I was like, I guess sometimes you need a woman to do a guy's job. I don't know. Did you wait for applause? No, no, no. I just was like very annoyed with like the whole day at that point that I was like, I'm just going to fix this. Yeah. And everybody stops complaining and being stupid. Sure. And so I had said to him and I would vibe. Do you think after meeting him, him and I'd catch a vibe? He's very chill. I think he's yeah. too chill for you. I think that. He might like actually like because like you like to ask questions and like you vibe with people, but like I feel like you would get annoyed, like he would annoy, like you would annoy him. Why? I don't know. Just like his, he's like just like so chill, and like I think that like you guys are like different chill. I I'm I'm one of the best interviewers around. If you ask, I'm not me. saying you're not. I didn't say that. I said we're not talking about interviewing though. We're talking about vibing. I think that like just because of like he's a unique cat where it's like. Because we've been, we have such a unique experience with Louisville. I think that's why it would go well. Because yeah. I think, like, I think for one thing, how many times do you think he's in an interview where people are like, you're from Louisville? Probably and he's got to be like, that's got to be. And you want to know what, though? I bet you he handled it with grace. It'd be like if, some, if you were a famous person, Shelby yes. Sauce. Yes. And people are like, hey, so Baltimore, what do you think? Like, Actually, it's Baltimore. I'd be like, well, well Baltimore. Or the somebody. Correct pronunciation. Could you imagine if it was like your your big pop star and somebody's like, so Shelby Sauce, born and raised in D.C. What's that like? Did you know in the morning? No, I just be like, uh, I'll be like, where did you get your information? No, I'm just saying I wouldn't say that. I just be like, actually, I'm from Pasadena, which is closer to Annapolis, which is the capital of Maryland. No one seems to really know that. I actually was talking about this yesterday. No one knows it's capital of Maryland, but it's fine. So, well, you know, the weird I was talking about this the other day because um, I was back home like a month or so ago. This area is weird because like, like the the capital cities aren't necessarily big cities like yeah. richmond's not really a big city like yeah. annapolis relatively is not a big city we don't really, really have it like, like, there's no like downtown maryland like there's no like downtown with skyscrapers like there's like there's maybe Baltimore. silver springs that a couple yeah but that, that yeah but i guess yeah that's not the capital though like see like, i think it's because dc is so close that's kind of like the de facto like down when you say you're going downtown you think dc yeah so you know what i mean i i don't yep. <laughs> What do you, what do you, what do you who, who says do, that they're going downtown though? I've never heard any, like, cause if you say you're going out, it's like, oh, I'm going to U street or I'm going to, you know, public. Like it's very more specific. It's not like I'm going downtown. Yeah. But, but I think that's because of this area that like, you say neighborhoods or you said, because there's no like downtown. Like, if, if, if I, if you're in Minnesota, like, we're going out, we're going downtown. Like that's like, you know, you're going. But if you're in Annapolis, you're saying you're going DTA, which is downtown Annapolis. Yeah, I'm always in DTA. But that's what I'm saying. Like, like it's DTA. So there is a downtown. The last time I haven't been to DTA, um, so Hoodie was in uh, this past week in Blacksburg for uh, Virginia Tech's graduation, and he said hotel room was like five hundred bucks, and that reminded me the when we did a stand up show in Annapolis. Gross. And it, it, what was this? What was the festival again? What was the boats and crabs? What was it? It was I don't know. It was something like it's that. I don't festival. know the name. The hotel, like all hotels are booked. Yeah. And like my policy is usually like prefer to stay in a hotel for the show because it's easier. Whatever. The hotel we got was. Uh, like and no shame to any like this is like the hotel for Riley's wedding. I'm not like bougie or it's like I can't say it, yeah. but it's like when when you're charging like the price of a W hotel in Miami, yeah, and it's like this. It, it, I think it was like four hundred, five hundred dollars a night. Yeah, it was and crazy. Like, the the usual price is sixty dollars, yeah. and it was like the fast say was ripped off the sink. It like so poor Andrew Day slept on the floor. We I shared I split rooms with you. Because or switch rooms because the room that you had like had like hair. So me and Andrew took that room. It was instead. just so it was just the grossest. Between that, like those are like really the only top. No, there's there's one more hotel I've ever stayed in, 
it was in Boston that was disgusting. Like I stayed there one night and I thought I was going to get murdered. Like it was just the grossest hotel. But like, no, the, the Riley's Wedding Hotel and the hotel from that, those are the other two grossest. And the amount of the $350 I paid for the Riley's Wedding Hotel, that still makes me angry because that was like the that was the most disgusting thing. Can I tell okay. you a funny story about that? Sure. Uh, Riley told me recently that somebody in the wedding party said that I was high maintenance because I oh. complained about the hotel. And mm -hmm. I was like, there was mo legitimately mold. There's, yeah, there was the mold in, all over the, the bathroom. Yeah. The floor in my room looked like there was blood everywhere. Um, and it was fact, like, had they charged $70? Like, yeah, never you know, would have complained about it. But it was three fifty a night. And then when I emailed them, like, hey, just so you know, like, there's mold. Be nice to get something back. We're going to make sure no other guest has to deal with this. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank God. Thank God that I got to be your little like, like, what is it? Your guppy or your freaking yeah. test rabbit. God, Listen, we've all stayed in bad hotels, but you just accept the fact that like it's 50 bucks. It is what it is. As long as the door appears to lock. I, but I've stayed at so many like actually nice places like um with my ex-boyfriend that were like 60 bucks, like $49. Really? Like What's, what towns? Like Days Inns and like the South and stuff yeah. like. But so I don't know. I like Days Inn. Yeah, Days Inn, lovely. Yeah, nice there's place. a Days Inn. Um, well, now it's an apartment complex. They converted it into an apartment complex on that seven. one near your house. Damn, I've always kind of be curious to see how it looks because I think it'd be odd because it's it was one of those hotels where you get in from the outside, so the windows would be people would be able to walk by your windows. Which yeah, like, it's weird. Understand? It's also the outside looks weird. Like I don't know if I'd want to live there. Probably depends on the rent. And that whole that thing. That I too. wanted to ask you, and I'm, I'm going to ask you this in the most. Um, in Are you going to make me mad? I don't think so. Okay. Because I like, I've met celebrities, right? And like, I've never had to wonder, like, I wonder if they, they're trying to hit on me. When okay. you meet a celebrity as a girl, can you tell when they're being like, when they're, because I, when they're flirting with you, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I feel like they're that? not really ever flirting with me in person. They slide in my DMs. Really? Yeah. Like, I mean, you'll, you'll have met them like that day and then later on the slide of DMs. Let me think. Okay. There was a situation where I played a guy's song uh, on Z1043 and then he kept sliding my DMs and he gave me my, my number and then we tried to hang out. Is that the guy um, in the band? Yes. And I will never listen to that band again. I'm just kidding. I actually listened to that band a lot this weekend. I don't know why. That was a um, weird time with that particular band where they cross our paths a lot in like that six month period in like various yeah. ways. And then I saw him at the iHeart Festival and he was talking to my boss and I had to go get my boss or something. And I was like, <gasps> and he just like looked at me and said, hi, Shelby. And I was like, hi. <laughs> that would be weird for you too without giving too much away because like you obviously were a fan before. Yeah. Like I was like driving and um, I'm endorsing this Jeep right now. Um, I drive a Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm endorse endorsing a great Jeep Wrangler. Yeah. I'm doing like the Jeep wave to everybody. Um but I was saying how like the sound like because it, it's like an endorsement. So like we're on like the highway and like the it's a Jeep. So, like, it's, like, you know, it's just the sound kind of sounded weird for like a little bit. And I was like, you know, it's kind of weird because like I didn't listen to this album legitimately until recently because before I had downloaded it illegally on LimeWire. So to hear like what it's like actually supposed to sound like, I was like, this is what my LimeWire version of the song sounds like, even though it's like, yeah. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, I've had like. Baseball players. It's mostly like baseball players for some reason. Because I, I just feel like the dichotomy of like, I can't imagine being a female celebrity. You don't just pick up random dudes at a radio station. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I think you probably have to be a lot more discreet about it because a yeah. regular dude for sure. Like, I just hooked up with Susie Snowflake. Oh, for Whereas sure. like, the, uh, like, I don't think the dude would necessarily brag about it because people brag about the, but it'd be flipped. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So do you, do you ever like notice that more? Like, is it no different? I guess going to bar then, like, is the exact same. Um, I mean, thing? there have been bands that have flirted with me. Like, there is this band where I do talk actually currently like a lot to the guy, not like not like to date him, but we be actually became friends at, over him flirting with me. If really? that makes sense, yeah. So now like we'll check in on each other and stuff, but is like it we. Green Day? <sighs> but you do you have met them? They were at a party that we hosted. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and they're like they're super cool dudes, and the guy is very nice, and um, he doesn't live in Atlanta or anything. And I'm not like, like he's definitely my type, but I'm like not into yeah. that. But it's like, I mean, I I realized that with him, I guess I don't know. I don't know. My life right now is really weird. I don't know. I can't think. I can't think of guys if I've noticed that they're flirting with me.
because I just feel like it's completely different. I would, but also like there was a time um, where a certain celebrity wrote me like a, a, a nice note on a, a photo that said intern John, I could teach you a thing or two. And I <laughs> didn't realize how oh, many texts. Oh, you. like, wait a second. So at the time, like I couldn't read what she wrote. Cause of why? Her, because Cause you're a man who can't read cursive. Yeah. And cause that was, uh, uh, and so, um, I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, and I was like, oh, maybe this was like a chance. Did you get it? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I like, I love her. Yeah. So I just, um, yeah, but I'm also, I miss signs all the time though. I feel like I do too though. Like, I, I don't know. Like, uh, like I know that Jack Harlow made eyes at me and everyone else saw, saw it. And I thought that he was just saying bye. I think that like male celebrities are probably like you because you, again, you just give off. You're an interesting enigma where like you know how moths are drawn to the flame. Yeah. You're the flame where people can't tell if you're just, you're playing a game, you're in a bad mood or this is just yeah. how you are all the time. I don't know. I think that it's also that I'm not like they're like fangirling. Oh, and I sure. think that that makes things so much worse because I know people that do that that are in the industry and it's like embarrassing to be near people that act like that when it's like that's your job to just not oh, yeah. act like that. So like for me, it's like we're all people. Um, For example, somebody wouldn't stop blasting his music like when they're taking pictures with him and stuff. And I just thought that and I was like telling like my boss later, I was like, I don't know. Like, I love the meet and greets. Like, I love meeting fans. And it's not even like they're fans. Like, they're just like the people that like we get to mm -hmm. hang out with on the podcast and stuff. So, like, I love that. Like, I, that's like my favorite part of the comedy stuff. But like, if someone came up to me and started like verbatim, just like doing my jokes for like five minutes straight, I wouldn't even know how to react because I'd be like, because you know me, I'm awkward. So I was like telling Dan, I was like, I would just be like sitting there like, yeah, cool. It probably depends on the situation. I think I if, it was, so, yeah. if, it was, if it was a random, like, if it was somebody at a show, I'd be more appreciative. If it was somebody in the industry, I would assume you were mocking. Yeah, me. I guess that makes more sense. That's a way better analogy. Yeah. Like, if it was somebody at a show, just, like, repeating my jokes, like, that's fine. But, like, it was just, like, super weird because I just felt, I could tell that he was, like, why? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, like, it's funny. So, I was at, I was at Two Rivers for uh, dinner this past weekend with Molly. Good for and you. This... It's great that you make it, again, back to Pasadena. <laughs> I love that for you. But this guy, uh, this guy came up and he was like, hey, are, are you a question you intern John? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh, my God. No, I don't. I don't want to hear about this man. Nope. Huh? I know who this man is, but continue. Wait, how do you know? Because we had to stop going to two rivers because he was so. Whatever. I don't know if it's the same, but he said he was like, he's just very thankful. And he's like, I, I appreciate all you do. I'm, I'm yeah. going to school right now. I got two jobs, but like, I listen to you guys all the time. Thank you for everything. No, it's definitely him. How do you how do you even know? Because like I just know. I just know things. I just know. How do you how I'll do tell you, you later. I can explain it to you right now. Um, but it's like my dad and him became friends somehow. And then we would go there whenever I was home. And then it would just get weird. And then my mom was like, Tony, we are not going back there when Shelby's with us anymore. Oh, I just texted you something. Are you I have, he seemed really at least in this guy seemed very nice. Oh no, that's not him. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, wait, what's what's that guy's name? Never mind. Don't tell me on here. No, that's what I was like. Is I think I knew who you were talking about because you even talked about the other guy before. I feel like yes, because this he makes was, me so uncomfortable. Yeah, no, this guy was. That's why I was a little bit taken back. No, this guy like very nice. He's like, I, I'm sorry to bother your time, but like, he's like, I've been going Aww. had rough years. Like my you know, my girlfriend's sick right now. I'm trying to go to school to be a doctor. I'm working two jobs. And that's okay, why I'll listen about this man. I hope he's okay. Yeah, he said, I want to say thank you for doing. And like a man, like he was getting a little teary eyed. I was getting emotional too. I was like, man, like that's the kind of stuff. Like I was like, dude, thank you for saying that because. I said this the last couple podcasts, like when uh, I was writing Solo Dello, we don't really get that otherwise. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I think probably because like in the building, it's like, that's your job. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's what you're supposed to do. But hearing that, like that's cool. I think that's why I think like, I think I noticed with artists, like they really appreciate the real fans. And yes. I think they don't like so much doing like, I. it's funny, like Jack Harlow is going to be in DC in November. Mm -hmm. Highly doubt there'll be interviews by then. I said this, uh, I said this to Eric, I'm like, Somebody in radio is going to ruin the interviews by them. Like somebody's going to ask something stupid between yeah. now and November. So he's done doing interviews. Happened with Selena Gomez. So Selena is like the nicest person ever. I saw her in Vegas for a show. She was supposed to be in DC like a month later. Between that show and the, and the DC show, interviews stopped because somebody said something stupid. Of course they did. And it's just like that's, uh, that's just how that is. But anyway, um, hey, thanks hey. for thanks for hanging. Anytime. I hope you have a great day. 
I hope you have a better day. You can follow Sauce. At Shelby Sauce. I let you say your name. Thank you so much. Yeah, you said in the beginning I didn't, I didn't do that. At the beginning, you never do. No. Well, you can follow me at Adventure Time Radio. And we will see you on Friday. Hi. Thoughts he has will sometimes get a pass. When intern John is fogging up the mirror and thinking in the shower. And sauce.